Good morning, this is Vince Lee with HealthyVeganGuy.com and I hope you're ready to juice today because that's what we're going to be doing. You see me do a lot of videos during my juice cleanse that I'm on showing you the different juices that I make, but today we're actually going to make one. Now what I did is I already washed and chopped all the fruits and vegetables we're going to be using. And so in this bowl right here, I have some dino kale, some curly kale, some Swiss chard, along with some dandelion greens. And in this bowl right here, we have some cucumbers, some zucchini, some fennel, carrots, and then one small apple, just to give it a little sweetness. So one thing that's important to remember when juicing is you definitely wanna chop things up like this so the juicer doesn't get clogged. Today I'll be using an Omega Vert 350. Now this is a vertical juicer, so it stands more vertical than horizontal on your counter. It's a single auger masticating juicer and it operates at a low RPM. Now that's really important when you're looking at juicers. Obviously you get the one that your budget will allow, but try to get one that has the lowest heat that you can afford. The lower the heat and the slower the turn, the, the more vitamins you're actually gonna get out of that juice. And another tip while juicing to remember is to rotate in the vegetables you're using. So for instance, if you're gonna do some greens right here, then do a few carrots and zucchini and cucumber and then go back to the greens. You don't want to do all your greens at one time because that'll actually start clogging the juicer a little bit and it'll actually produce less yield and you definitely want to get as most juice as possible when you start running these through the machine. So without further ado, let's start juicing. Now the first thing we're going to do is turn the juicer on and you'll notice there's two containers here. This one is actually to collect the juice. You can see it has the different ounces located on the side so you know how much juice you made. And this one is just gonna be to collect the pulp as the juice processes all the fruits and vegetables. So let's go ahead and turn this on and start juicing. You'll see as we juice, all the liquids coming out and it's just going straight into that container and all the pulp's coming out of the other end here. Now as the pulp comes out, it's very dry, which is exactly the way you want it to be because you want all the liquid to be produced in the juice. You'll also notice too, that I'm not using a plunger at the top. I'm just literally like dropping the fruits and vegetables on the top. And one of the big reasons by cutting the fruits and vegetables, you don't have to use a plunger and force everything down. Just kind of let gravity, because it's a vertical juicer, do its thing. And it just makes the process a lot easier. Now you can see the juice is getting pretty tall here on this container. So what we want to do is just stop the machine and we'll go ahead and pour this out and get the juice ready. Now you can see there's actually quite a bit of foam on this juice. It really depends on the juicer that you use and what ingredients you're using to juice is how much foam you get. Sometimes you can just mix it in. There's also some pulp in here you could strain out. I go either way, sometimes I strain it, sometimes I don't. It just kind of depends on what the other people that I'm having around like in their juice. And one thing too that I wanted to mention is regarding meal planning and prepping the actual vegetables. It's really easy just to do these the night before. Just wash the fruits and vegetables, cut them up, and put them in a seal tight container in the fridge. And then in the morning when you're ready to go, it's really easy just to take them out and just run them through the juicer. That way, less time, because I know the biggest issue that people have with juicing is, is time. So you want to see if you could somehow shorten that time and cleaning the juicer is actually really easy. What I like to do is while it's still running, just run a little water through here. It actually gets rid of any loose pulp or loose juice that's still in there and it really speeds up the cleaning process. Doesn't take long at all. So I'm just going to go ahead, pour this in a glass and have some juice. Alright, so we're ready to enjoy our green juice. Here it is right here. I put it in a mason jar. Great to store these in mason jars because if you don't drink the whole thing, you can put it in an airtight container and just put it in the fridge for later. You can see that juice right there gave us um, three cups, 24 ounces of juice, so not too bad. Didn't take us very long. And a couple things I wanted to mention too, if you're just new to juicing and you really haven't had too many different types, you may find the taste to be like pretty overpowering. I remember when I first started, the first couple juices I had that were green juices, I was like, well, you know, put some more you know, get some more fruit in there, put some more apples and carrots, and try to minimize the greens. And you'll find that as time goes by, your taste buds kind of get more in line and they actually get used to the taste to where it is now. I could have a green juice with no apples or no carrots and it's perfectly fine, doesn't bother me at all. 
And also, second thing is if you can, try to juice in the morning. It's great to have this on an empty stomach. Obviously, green juice any time of the day is better, but if you can have it on an empty stomach, your body's definitely gonna absorb all those vitamins and minerals quickly. So I'm gonna go enjoy this juice right now. So good, and I'll be checking in with you later. All right, so it's dinner time, and I can finally have real food. It's a salad, but hey, after drinking juices and smoothies for about almost four days, salad definitely tastes good. I'm actually at Coral Tree in Encino, and I ordered two salads. This one is a orchard salad, topped with a bunch of cucumbers, raisins, and I got the dressing on the side. Second salad is actually a kale salad, topped with some avocado, mixed in with some quinoa. So I cannot wait to dive into these things. It's been a while since I had to use a fork. So I'm gonna enjoy these and I'll be back with you later. All right, so I'm back home from dinner and it was so great to have a salad again. Tomorrow's pretty much gonna be the same thing as it was today. Um, basically juices and smoothies for most of the day and then a big salad at night. And then the next couple days after that, I'll definitely be transitioning out of my juice cleanse phase, juice cleanse phase into more of a normal diet. I'll incorporate some nuts and some more snacks into it. And so that's one of the big things when you do a ju uh, juice cleanse, you definitely want to transition back to your normal diet safely. You don't want to go from doing a juice cleanse and go back to your normal diet. You really want to get out of it safely and, and that's what this one is doing. So it's great. I'm having a good time. It's a good experience. So I'm really glad I was able to share today with you to take you to go eat my salad that I haven't had in days and also to actually be there with you as I made a juice. I thought that was really cool. Let me know in the comments if how you transition out of a juice cleanse. Have you had any issues with it? I'd love to know. I'd love to have a conversation there with you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Stay healthy.